Hello, this is Dr. Touch, and I'm demonstrating to you 2.0 of DT Calendar View Controller. Uh, the major update, besides a couple of bug fixes and performance improvement, uh, is that DT Calendar View has become its own class. So it can be used by itself, or it can be used uh, in the Calendar View Control R, where you have a table view. So that's what you've seen previously in version 1.0. Uh, that you have a, a calendar view and you have the table view and if you select different dates uh, the table view gets an update and you can fully customize these as you would with any table view cells. Uh, other things that are new besides of the uh, things that you know uh, the current day is now marked and it's uh, from the styling very cl much closer to the original iPhone calendar. Uh, of course you can uh, specify your own colors for the uh, day they selected uh, today, today selected, not today, and not today selected to, to fit your own uh, image. Other things that still work, you can display a dot or you can display your own custom image to signify that there is uh, some, some event or something attached to this day. Uh, you can uh, still switch between the, the calendar months by just the arrows or by holding down, you switch quickly. So nothing new here besides some, as I said, bug fixes. And it's, it's uh, very uh, easy to use this now in your own projects. Uh, the second major benefit uh, is more like a proof of concept. Uh, you know the scenario where you have a, a date to pick. The current approach uh, that's traditional would be to slide up a date picker. So you would select the date here. Um, I propose to actually use a calendar for that because people don't like these these wheels. Yeah, it it also doesn't give you the information where in the week does a certain day lie. So if you think, well, it was last Wednesday, but mm, what date was it? If you don't have a date picker that has the weekday in front of it, it's hard to find this this day. Well, DT Calendar View to the rescue. You can slide it up just like the date picker. I've got a special class for that, UI view plus sliding, or actually a class extension so that you can slide in any UI view that you like and have control mechanisms so that you can slide um, different views in here. You get that as a free bonus for this project. And what you can do here is, well, uh, you can select days and you see every time you select a day, the cell is updated. That's because of the delegate method that gets called uh, every time um, you uh, change the day here. Uh, fast scrolling also works uh, when you have, have a especially a large date. The table view in this demo will automatically scroll the cell such that you still see it. Um, and if you get to a smaller uh, month, that also works. So this is, this is very convenient if you think, well, today is the 7th. It was uh, Wednesday two weeks ago. That must have been here. Yeah. So it, it's more like people are used to thinking about the calendar. It's not like a day, month, year. Whereas the year, um, if you have dates that are very far in the future, it might still make sense to have a, a function like that. But if it's a thing very close, like tasks next week, or uh, in my case, uh, the beginning of the uh, menstrual period of, a, uh, of my wife for iWoman I'm working on, um, well, she would remember whether well, it was last Wednesday. So you could just say, okay, today uh, is the seventh and last Wednesday, okay, has to be the third. So this is a very convenient way to select dates. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I hope you purchase DT Calendar View Controller. Um, due to these major updates and all these fixes, I have to slightly raise the price, uh, but I think it's still very affordable for this kind of amazing technology. Uh, I hope you enjoyed my demonstration and I'll see you on my blog. Bye bye.